better than the Gospels, and yet we know Joseph Smith's telling us a lie. Okay. Then um, he goes into contradictions in the Gospel accounts, such as the time of the Passover, the day of the Passover, the time of, of the death of Christ, who carried the cross, and etc. Then the final argument is that the resurrection didn't happen because uh, Paul didn't teach a resurrection, he taught a spiritual resurrection. So that's basically um, Dan uh, Dan's argument. I'm just going to rebut it for the next 15 minutes, okay? Um, first of all, he says Jesus was, we have to prove these four things about Jesus. Jesus was actually a human being, Jesus was died. Uh, placed in the tomb, Jesus was uh, uh, Jesus was Jesus died prior to being placed in the tomb, and Jesus was placed in the tomb, and four Jesus was physically restored. The first three points are already proved by history. Um, if he knew the history of this topic, he'd know that the work by E. P. Sanders, who was is the leader in this field would not agree with the Bible, would not agree with certain things about the Gospels, but I said that the basically the basic facts of Jesus, that uh, he was uh, a human being <laughs> in history, in the first century Jew, that he was, uh, that he died, that he was placed in the tomb of Amrathia, he accepts that. Dominic Crossan, who was a skeptic scholar, says that Jesus died on a cross is the most well attested historical fact in history. Uh, we know this uh, from Paul's early source material, uh, 1 Corinthians 15. Um, which says, Now I would remind you, brothers, of the Gospels I preached to you, which you received, in which you stand, and by which you are being saved, if you hold fast to the Lord I preached to you, unless you believe in vain. For I delivered to you, as of first importance, what I also received, that Christ died for out of sin, in accordance with the Scriptures, that he was buried, that he was raised on the third day, in accordance with the Scriptures, that he appeared to Cephas, then to the Twelve, then he appeared to more than five hundred brothers at one time, most of whom are still alive, Though some have fallen asleep, then he appeared to James, then he, all the apostles. Last of all, as an untimely born, he, he appeared to me, for I am the least of the apostles. Now this text, um, written probably in the 50s, 58, around in early, mid-50s AD, um, scholars will tell you is rich in tradition and goes back to an earlier tradition of AD 33, 34. Okay. So we know from that passage alone that um, we have early source, historical source material of the death and the burial of Jesus Christ. Okay. Um, also we have um, the early church fathers such as Clement um, is another example of good so historical source material which is solid historical source material and also extra source material that's not to the bible such as josephus most scholars would agree that it has been tampered with but his testimonium does tell us a kernel about jesus's life and then thirdly uh, tacitus um a whole lot of roman scholars will tell you that there's no dispute about that passage about how it talks about jesus all right we could say that, well, where did Tacitus get his source material for that? Well, we could say that about a lot of historians. The fact of the matter is Tacitus would not have written that unless he had some good source material to back it up, okay? Because he was a, that's how good a historian he was. So the basic facts um, are generally established. And also the, the basic fact that even Bart Herman will tell you that that on the fourth point of Dan, Bart Herman, Dominic Crosson, E. P. Sanders, Gomez, we could go on and on, N. T. Wright, uh, these are massive scholars, will tell you that the early church had visions of Jesus. 
um, in the first century, early first century. So the issue there is, what are those visions? Was it was it real? Was it a real resurrection or was it an hallucination? Uh, an hallucination. Um, the issue with psychological models is they don't fit the experience of the early church because there were so many different sightings of Jesus at different periods, different places, in different contexts, two people, groups of people, individual, that no psychological model can answer all these various visions. So you can't answer the resurrection from a naturalist perspective. The issue with the resurrection is there are certain facts that we know. Number one, that women were the main sightseers of the resurrection. Now why?